the percentage impedances of the two transformers working in parallel are different then. A. Transformers will be overheated. B. Power factors of both the transformers will be same. C. Parallel operation will not be possible. D. Parallel operation will still be possible. Answer is option D. Parallel operation will still be possible. Assuming a uniform distribution of current over the armature surface conductors, the shape of the resultant armature M, M, F, in space of a loaded DC machine is asymmetrical. A. Triangular wave with its peak along the interpolar axis. B. Triangular wave with its peak along the pole axis. C. Rectangular wave with its central axis coinciding with the interpolar axis. D. Rectangular wave with its central axis coinciding with the pole axis. Answer is option A. Triangular wave with its peak along the interpolar axis. Damper bars in case of salient pole rotors of hydro alternators are usually inserted in pole. Faces to A. Strengthen the excitation current of the poles. B. Damp out the rotor oscillations during transient state owing to sudden change in load conditions. C. Help improve the power factor of load. D. Reduce the no load current when load is thrown off. Answer is option B. Damp out the rotor oscillations during transient state owing to sudden change in load condition. In synchronous motor, V. Curves present the variation of A. Armature current with excitation, field. B. Armature current with maximum power developed. C. Field excitation with stalling torque. D. Field excitation with minimum power developed. Answer is option A. The main advantage of distributing the winding in slots is to A. Reduce the size of the machine. B. Add mechanical strength to the winding. C. Reduce the amount of copper required. D. Reduce the harmonics in the generated EMF. Answer is option D. D. When the rotor speed in a synchronous machine becomes more than the synchronous speed. During hunting, the damper bars develop. A. Induction motor torque. B. Induction generator torque. C. Synchronous motor torque. D. DC motor torque. Answer is option B. In a split phase motor, the running binding should have a. High resistance and low inductance. b. High resistance as well as high inductance. c. Low resistance and high inductance. d. Low resistance as well as low inductance. Answer is option sad phase, c. Starting torque can be obtained in the case of a single phase induction motor with identical may and auxiliary windings by connecting a, a capacitor across the mains, b a capacitor in series with the machine, c a capacitor in series with the auxiliary winding, d the main and the auxiliary winding in series. Answer is option C. Compared to turbines in conventional coal-fired thermal stations, nuclear power plant. Turbines use steam at a. Lower pressure and temperature. b. Higher pressure and temperature. c. Lower pressure and higher temperature. d. Higher pressure and lower temperature. Answer is option A. A time varying flux causes an induced electromotive force. What law does this statement represent? A. Ampere S law. B. Faraday S law. C. Lenz S law. D. Field form of Ohm S law. Answer is option B.
the internal characteristics of a DC generator is plotted between the a. Field current and voltage generated at no load b. Armature current and voltage generated on load c. Armature current and voltage generated after armature reaction d. Field current and voltage generated on load Answer is option C. C. The speed control of DC shunt motor in both directions can be obtained by A. Armature resistance control method B. Ward Leonard method C. Field diverter method D. Armature voltage control method Answer is option B. A synchronous motor operates at rated voltage and frequency and has a load torque angle of 30 degrees. If both the terminal voltage and frequency are reduced by 10%, then A. The load torque angle remains the same. B. The load torque angle increases. C. The load torque angle decreases. D. Nothing can be said about the torque angle. Answer is option A. The The nature of armature MMF of a zero power factor lagging load in a three phase alternator is A. Magnetizing B. The magnetizing C. Neutral D. Cross magnetizing Answer is option B. For obtaining very quick breaking of a three phase boom rotor induction motor running on load. A. A large external resistance has to be inserted in the rotor circuit. B. A large external resistance has to be inserted in the stator circuit. C. Interchange any two terminals of the stator supply. D. Interchange any two terminals of the rotor to the slip rings. Answer is option. C. For a given applied voltage and current, the speed of a universal motor will be a. Higher in DC excitation than in AC excitation. B. Higher in AC excitation than in DC excitation. C. Same in both DC and AC excitations. D. Dangerously higher in DC excitation. Answer is option A. Compared to turbines in the conventional coal-fired thermal stations, nuclear power plant. Turbines use steam at A. Higher pressure and higher temperature. B. Lower pressure and lower temperature. C. Higher pressure and lower temperature. D. Lower pressure and higher temperature. Answer is option B. What? What are the signs of load angle in an alternator during generator and motor operate? Ions, respectively. A. Negative, negative. B. Positive, negative. C. Negative, positive. D. Positive, positive. Answer is option B. Increasing the air gap of a squirrel cage induction motor would result in A. Increase in no load speed. B. Increase in full load power factor. C. Increase in magnetizing current. D. Maximum available torque. Answer is option C. In a single phase capacitor start induction motor, the direction of rotation. A. Can be changed by reversing the main winding terminals. B. Cannot be changed. C. Is dependent on the size of the capacitor. D. Can be changed only in large capacity motors. Answer is option A.